Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series, your source for all the latest news and updates. So today Rockstar released a new update to Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2's single player. In the online we got some new bonuses, some discounts and also some new items to go over. And then after that I'll show you all of the new content that was added to the single player. To go over the bonuses and benefits this week, there is a 30% discount on all of the weapon barrels, the sights, scopes and stock upgrades, excluding metal engravings. There are also discounts on pamphlets from the fence if you want to craft powerful ammo such as fire arrows or medicines such as the special horse reviver. Those pamphlets tend to be quite expensive so if you've been saving up for one of those pamphlets this week could be a good time to grab one. Rockstar are also offering a couple of benefits to the newbies out there. If you reach rank 10 before January 27th, you'll receive a 30% off of a weapon of your choice. And if you manage to reach rank 20 before the 27th of January, you'll receive an offer for 30% off of a horse. I feel like Rockstar has been really catering to the new players in the last few bonus weeks, so it's quite interesting to see them do another one for such low level players but these will be added into your accounts as a coupon in your offers and rewards section if you do unlock them. Rockstar are also offering a 50% XP boost when you're revisiting familiar faces such as Josiah Trelawney and also Sean McGuire to embark on free roam missions or Horley to lend a hand in a Land of Opportunities missions. Unfortunately, cash is not increased, it's just going to be a 50% boost on XP. If you're an active Twitch Prime member and you've already linked your Rockstar Social Club account, you'll also be getting a 10% discount on top of everything already mentioned, and you'll also get a free collector's bag, and also the polished copper moonshine upgrade for free. So first of all, there are 4 new clothing items, and 5 new emotes been added to Red Dead Online on Xbox One, PC, and Stadia, along with the Beaver Hollow Hideout, home to the notorious Murfree Broad. To go over the new clothing items, first of all we've got the Rolfro boots, available for $202.50 or 9 gold bars if you want to pay in gold. Also I hope you guys don't mind but I'm going to be showing you just the catalogue pictures in today's video. I was having some issues with my capture card today, usually I like to show what they actually look like in game with all of the colours but today we're just going to be taking a look at the catalogue. Next up we've got this Scarlet hat for $157.50 or 7 gold bars. The Gordillo Half Chaps for $87.75 or 4 gold bars. And of course the Salizzo Double Bandolier for $358.50 or 15 gold bars. Next up are the 5 new emotes that have been added to Red Dead Online and there is the Howl Action for $128 or 6 gold bars. The Jovial Laugh Reaction for $158 or 7 gold bars. The Subtle Wave Greet for $135 or 6 gold bars. The You vs Me Taunt for $115.50 or 5 gold bars. And lastly, the Get Over Here Greet for $172.07 gold bars. Seriously, I don't know who's buying all these emotes for Rockstar to continue to insist on charging such huge prices for them. But yeah, basically, do not waste your money on emotes, guys. The Rockstar Newswire also mentioned a hat flick emote which I couldn't find in the catalogue at all. I'm not sure if it's a mistake, but the get out of here greet could be the one that was added instead of that, since that one wasn't actually specified on their Newswire. So that's pretty much it for Red Dead Online this week. Pretty bare bones update if I'm honest with you guys. Next up, let's go over the new content for Red Dead Redemption 2's story mode. Now all of this was the content that was released first of all exclusively on PC, and then it came to PS4, so Xbox One users will find a new DLC today that they will be able to download with the story mode update. Thankfully GameSpot has made a list of everything new in this update, so I'm basically just going to read you guys everything that's been added. There's three new Bounty Hunter missions, two new gang hideouts, two new treasure map locations, four new weapons, there is the M1899 pistol, the all new semi-automatic handgun with clip-loaded ammunition, the Evans repeater that was previously only available in Red Dead Online, the high roller revolver that was again only previously available in Red Dead Online, and also the awesome Lumat revolver, and again that was only available previously in Red Dead Online. So if any of you guys haven't purchased these weapons already in Online, you might want to try them out in single player first just to see if you like them or not. 
There are some new horses added to story mode, the warped Brindle Arabian, the few spot Appaloosa, the Perlino Andalusian, the red chestnut Arabian, and also three new Wells horse variations. The buttermilk buckskin Kentucky Saddler, the liver chestnut Morgan, and the gold Palomino Tennessee Walker. There's a new mission added called To the Ends of the Earth, collect requested herbs for a range of rewards, and there's also five new trinkets added to story mode with new effects. That is the Hawk Talion, the Cat Eye, the Shark Tooth, the Turtle Shell, and the Crow Beak. So that's all the new content added in today's Red Dead Online update, and also the story mode update for Xbox One players. If you do enjoy this new series, please take a few seconds to leave it a like, it really helps support my channel, and also subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any future breaking information. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.